Hello, and welcome everybody. If y'all didn't see the last Final Fantasy VII video that I did, I know I can do better starting... So, in this playthrough, unlike my last video that I did, I managed to get my characters to 30 and under. Uh, I still didn't use any re uh, resources, excuse me. I still didn't use any sources. Uh, and any items that I pick up, I'm only going to notate the very important ones. Yet again, this is a one-shot commentary. So if I do screw up, or if I make a mistake, or if I say something stupid, please let me know in the comments. I'd be very happy to answer anybody. I'm, I'm a pretty much an open book over here. I also allowed myself to do skips too this time, by the way. So there are four very famous skips, and I only do two of them. Uh, one of the skips I don't do because it's not very relevant, and then the other one I don't do because we needed to do things there. But we'll we'll get there when we get there. Ugh, I don't know how many times I've seen this intro, but. I'm, I'm still not bored of it. I love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. This is the game that got me into RPGs, but this is a lot of this is a lot of people's introduction to RPGs too. All right, first thing we do, as usual, we go to our config and boop, put the settings the way we want. This time I chose a nice black instead of a pink. Maybe the pink was a little bit too distracting. I don't know. Decided a very neutral color this time. Uh, right here, I hold confirm so, uh, you know, he attacks as soon as he can. Pick up the restore materia, and then of course we set the bomb, and then the next boss fight, ha or the first boss fight happens. Uh, limit breaks, bolt, and that's about it. So you know, barrack will use limit breaks or physical attacks, and cloud will use bolt. Uh, very interesting part about this fight, though, we want cloud to die. We don't want him to gain any experience off this fight. So there he goes. Boop. Dead cloud. And then make sure Barrett stays healed up, of course. Which is not a hard task. And just continue the physical attack and use Limit Breaks with Barrett. He'll eventually take him down. This takes some time. That crit. I didn't know my last hit was a crit. Alright, so there you go. Cloud didn't gain anything. Excellent, excellent. So we escape. First mission done, excellent work. Right here, uh, you'll say later three times, and you'll avoid all three of those fights. And then we escape. And then go to the seventh heaven, and then after all the cutscene stuff, we get the materia system menu. Uh, go to the shop, sell some things, and we're gonna buy all grenades. So after that, this is where the first skip comes in. We're gonna do guard skip. And that's going to skip the reactor, and getting Aerith, and all that other neat stuff. We're going to go straight to Wall Market doing this little skip here. Excellent. Also, interesting note here. Uh, Aerith is not Aerith. It's Aerith now. We didn't get to name her. So, well, you'll see it here in a little bit. And she is also level 1. Which is super, super fascinating. Alright, here we go. Uh, sewer gator. Same thing, just keep using grenades over and over. Uh, this is also another fight that we do not want Cloud to live on, so once we get it down, uh, once we get its HP down a little bit, we'll start, uh, targeting Cloud with the grenades. Bam. There we go. And, plop. He's down, and then just continue to throw grenades until he does another big wave. And whenever he does that other big wave, it'll knock itself out. Boop. Easy fight. But watch this experience thing. Check this out. Check out what happens to Aerith's, uh... 
experience. Watch. Like, the, the movement from level 1 to level 2 is just so cool to watch. And we gain up to level 5 on both of our characters there. That's fair. Uh, before we leave the sewers, we get the steel materia, and then we immediately equip it to Tifa. Go through the train graveyard. And we do uh, the reactor thing. So we're back in uh, where the 7th heaven is, that place where we did guard skip. And we fight Reno. Reno, yet again, pretty easy. Just throw grenades. On this fight, I didn't opt to kill anybody. Uh, I left all my members alive because of that stupid pyramid. Exactly that stupid pyramid. Beyond all that, just throw grenades, and then if you need to hit the pyramid to free a character, you can. You can physical attack the uh, pyramid, it'll go away. But, pretty much easy fight. Everybody gains experience here. 777. Seven, seven. Alright, so we escape. Or, well, they have Eris, we escape. And then we sell our stuff, buy grenades. Before we go to her house, we grab the cover materia. Once we get done with the whole Aerith cutscene thing, of course, we go get batteries and go to the Shinra building. We're kind of, like, rushing through this because Midgar is kind of boring. It's nothing but, like, using grenades, basically. Uh, go up the staircase. You know, we grab the elixir going up this long-ass staircase, and then we get our first battle again. Which, uh, two grenades per each will do. And yet again, we keep all of our characters alive again. The experience gain here isn't that isn't that bad. Besides that, we want them to be a little bit tougher anyways. Alright, so we avoid these guards to avoid fights. Of course, you know, low experience. More cutscenes. We grab the bio materia, or poison materia. We go straight into the thing fight our next boss with Barrett and Red 13. Red 13's mandatory, we can't Cloud and Red 13. So we're gonna use Limit Breaks and Grenades on that bat guy right there. And then we're gonna start weakening other characters too. But yet again on this boss, once it gets to like a low HP value, we're going to like, uh, we're gonna kill Cloud and Red 13 both. So there goes Red 13. And then Cloud's still using some grenades, but yeah, as you can see, inevitably we do kill Cloud, and then we actually limit break to win that fight. So Barret's the only one that's going to gain experience here. We're kind of using boss battles, so like, sometimes we're selecting and choosing certain ones to live on certain parts. Alright, yay, we saved Aerith, we grab the enemy skill materia, and we get Brack thrown in jail. Lovely! So now Aerith is captured again, uh, the doors open, we leave, more cutscenes, follow the blood trail. Gang splits up, and we fight our next boss going out of the building, which is in two phases. First phase is this one, and then the second phase will start immediately after. Uh, here we keep the three characters alive for a little bit, we keep grenading. Uh, once we get on low, once we get this uh, robot's uh, HP a little bit lower, we, we start downing down on a Red 13 and kill him. But we still keep Barrett alive because on phase two, we still want some people to use grenades. So there goes Red, down. Just keep using limit breaks, keep using grenades. Alright, and make sure Aerith is filled up, because now, now that that phase is done, the next phase that we're going to do is Barret. Or, or in the next phase, we are going to kill Barret. And Aerith is going to be the only one that gains the levels from here.
So there it goes, goes down. And then just keep throwing grenades. And then also, you know, we get the limit breaks too, and then if we need to use healing wind for limit break, that's great, because that saves us MP from using cure. Alright, easy fight. Next one's the fight with Cloud and Rufus. This time, Rufus' dog gets to survive, and we're going to continue to use limit breaks on Rufus. We luckily got one before it used barrier. So yeah, usually the first thing it does is use barrier, and then, you know, physical attacks aren't that great. But we were luckily enough that we were lucky enough to get that barrier in. Or that limit break before barrier got in. And then after that, just keep using grenades. Keep curing him up. Make sure he stays alive. Leave his dog alive. His dog's pretty nice this time. It will use bolt, but it, that that's that's like the least of like this fight's still not even up. It's still not hard at all. Oh boy, motorcycle time. This time I actually didn't do that bad in the minigame. Like, I did this the trick where, you know, you can keep the red guys behind you. So this time my HP was really good going into this fight. And my team is Cloud, Aerith, and Tifa. Cloud and Tifa do need to bite it on this fight. But I still need to keep Cloud alive because there's one thing I really need that I haven't really got to use a lot of. And that is going to be his limit break. I'm going to use his limit break a lot. Plus our grenades count was very down too. So this was kind of like a perfect opportunity for me to like kind of abuse his limit breaks. And I used a lot on this fight. Like I would say it like this. Each of Cloud's limit breaks is like a grenade. So we keep Aerith and Cloud pretty much HP'd up. Whenever it gets to like a low HP, because this one I believe is 2400. So once it gets to like a low HP, I gotta kill Cloud. Which I do have Bolt, but I don't want to use Bolt, I want to use the Limit Breaks. So I should have put Bolt on somebody else. And But then now that I think about it, I got to use so many Limit Breaks in this fight where I actually get Cross Slash whenever this fight is over. Which is so nice. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I was wanting to do it later, but I still got it in this fight. Like, I was thinking at least bottom as well, I would get Cross Slash. Keep an Aerith healed up. I know one of these bravers, like, crits. But, uh, well, like, uh, once we get, like, the crit, we were, like, maybe at, like, 80 HP, maybe 100 HP. That's enough for one more grenade. I had one last grenade in stock. There's that crit. So now we're gonna use Cloud to use Bio on itself, so it'll... I was hoping for poison, that didn't happen. So we just use it again, and then Aerith has that last grenade to use. Counting HP during battle for me is kind of hard, but I managed to get it that miss, get whiffed. Bam. Done. So Aerith, yet again, only one gaining experience. It's gonna be her a lot for a while, for a little bit. But there it is, cross slash gain. I didn't know I used so many. Like, I think I used one Braver on Rufus. I'm trying to think of the other things I used Braver on. It wasn't very many. Alright, world map time. Uh, we go to Calm, and we equip the uh, Bio Materia to Aerith. <laughs> but I kind of want to explain what's going on. Oh, and Swap Restore. Uh, this part, this is where we don't do one of those skips, because the only thing we're really skipping here is just the flashback. Really, really good for speedruns. I mean, you're saving so much time, but in this case, we're kind of still doing the same thing regardless. So we're still getting a chocobo, and we're still going to go get long range. Uh, I also sold uh, stuff in Calm to get that chocobo uh, lore. And also, I did receive the chocomog summon. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with this. There's going to be three summon materials that I get, and I'm going to show, and you're going to see what I'm going to do with them later. And... You're going to be quite surprised at the result. So, anyways, uh, you know, there you go, catch our Chocobo. We get Chocomog, Sheva, and Ifrit. They are, like, the three easiest ones to get, like, right off the bat. 
We also get Bahamut and Neo Bahamut, but we're mostly using those for the diamond weapon fight. They're not used for my sinister plan. Alright, get the chocobo. And we leave, go into the cave, grab the long range materia. And we exit, and we skip Fort Condor, and go straight to Junon. I have footage this time. <laughs> I'm so happy I have footage. In the last video I did, I didn't have footage, so... It's so nice to see that. Alright, the bottom wall fight. Let's go. Uh, we use Bio from Aerith, and then Cloud's gonna use Limit Breaks, and then we're gonna throw grenades. We also sold items to buy more grenades, because we were out. From the last fight that we did. So we're using bio so we can get the uh, poison status on this boss because it can get the poison status. This was actually one of those fights, just like uh, just like Reno. Uh, they put you in these little uh, th and these ones are spheres. They are not uh, pyramids this time. But this was another fight where I was not. Well, I was gonna let everybody live, but. I was fortunate enough for the I was fortunate enough for Aerith to be the only one to live. Like I thought that was nuts. So here we go. Watch this. So I was still expecting Cloud to live. Like I was like, okay, so Teeth is dead, that's cool. If Cloud lives, that's okay. It's not a big deal. But he ends up dying. I throw the grenade poison damage and then that's it that that last 78 was all we needed and bam so i i i honestly was lucky i was that was not how the fight was planned at all but that was great because yet again we lose experience and Aerith's the only one gaining experience we get that power wrist that's gonna be uh, very important there's that sheva materia uh, use the dolphin, get up to Junon, and we're gonna do all the little Junon games. I actually get six ethers this time, I'm very proud of myself. Uh, that's what I wanted, because I want to sell those. Because we're not taking very many battles, so we need items to sell. So I get the six ethers, which is super nice, and I also get the four stealer for the next fight. Oh yeah, and I fuck up the special, but I still have 170. I did it. I did it backwards, guy. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's the force dealer. Then we do. Then we sail away to the new continent. Uh, do all the cutscene stuff. And then we go ahead and equip that force dealer and that power wrist. Because in this fight, Cloud's going to be the only one that lives. And yet again, spam grenades, and then Aerith, if she gets her limit break, if it's like a good timing to use it, I will use it. Like, I don't like, use, I usually don't use it like immediately. Like, I, I kind of wait it out. This was honestly one of the easier fights to do all these setups on. Like who I want, uh, who I want dead, so they don't gain experience and things like that. It seems like Genova attacks like a lot in a turn, but in reality, not really. Bam! There you go. Hit yourself with a grenade. So we are still keeping them alive. I'm kind of yet again. It's that, it's that same bit. I did lose track of how much HP. That miss was so awful on Aerith. Uh, I did lose track of her HP in this fight, though. I forgot how much HP, honestly, at this point. I don't have my I don't have my notes with me. But yet again, it came to the point to where just use grenades. Everybody kind of killed themselves. Just keep using grenades. Like, keep curing myself. Yeah, I think I think I killed those two too early in this fight. I think I needed him for a little bit more. Throw a grenade. Alright, good, good, good. There we go.
we get Ifrit. There's our third uh, summon materia that I have a sinister plan for. I will tell you that sinister plan later. And there's a guy. Woo! Alright, anyways. Uh, we go here, sell items, and just buy... We, we buy supplies, tranquilizers, hypers, tents, potions, things like that. Oh, it's that infamous bridge again where we get to steal right arms from these bombs. Uh, this one I did first try, but yet again, in this playthrough, we are going to steal 30 right arms again. Boop! And then we run away so we don't gain any experience. I'll show you what my inventory looks like here in a minute, but I think I do show a clip of me just going up and down, up and down. Yep, there it is. I'm grinding for right arms. Alright, so... Sell stuff. This was before my grind was over. Buy some more stuff. And then here we buy some Molotovs. We're gonna use those a little bit later. Not just on our party members, but there's a certain something that I do not like. But there's what our inventory is gonna look like after the grind's over. So you can see 30 right arms, yada yada. Then we go to the gold saucer. So once we got all that done, we go to the gold saucer. Pay the 3,000, make sure we got 3,000 to go in. Bear throws a fit, we follow him. Then our new member joins the party, which is Kasid. And he has the manipulate materia, and we will be taking that from him after a while. We go to the battle. We the battle square, I believe they what they call them in this game squares. Speed square, ghost square, square square. All right, so you know everybody thinks we kill these people and we get sent to prison. What a trial! What a trial! So we get sent to coral prison. Do all of Barrett's cutscene stuff again. And on this playthrough, I do not get laser, I do not need laser, so I do not manipulate an enemy skill with a laser. But now we do the dying fight, a pretty simple fight here, uh, just toss a right arm. Ow. He does his little finishing counter, and now he's down. Bam. Over. Alright, so. Go through. Got that done. Then we do some more chocobo racing. Oh boy. My favorite part. Yet again, first try, I did it. I usually don't do it first try in any playthrough that I do, but... I guess I'm getting better at this whole chocobo thing. Alright, so now we got the buggy, and we actually go past Gongola. We don't need to go there yet. We equip the silver armlet, and then we also give the, uh... Manipulate materia right here. And I'm also putting that all materia right there on that four stealer for a reason. So now we're going to go here. And of course, this is the greatest spot. That, uh, this is my favorite spot in the entire game. Because we get the greatest enemy skill ever. And that is Big Guard. Big Guard, when it is casted, it casts on all players, all characters. Um, and it casts Barrier, in Barrier, and Haste. Bam, there you go. I learned it. And then we just right arm them, right arm them to get away. All right, so that's over. Now, this is where I don't do a skip because I am very aware that there is a Cosmo Canyon skip, but Cloud needs to be a little bit more beefier because I did try to do the Materia Keeper fight with Cloud's level as it is now, and it's not good. It was not good at all. So we came here to Cosmo Canyon, did the whole cutscene thing.
go to the to the dungeon thingy of the of the gee peoples. Now these spider webs, yes, they are also skippable as well, but I chose not to. I wanted some experience, but both of the but there's two spider webs to the to the boss of this layer. Uh, just use two right arms on each of those spiders, and that's about it. Red 13's also dead. We don't want him gaining experience. And then the Gi fight, same thing. Uh, that's what we have the elixir for that we got at uh, Shin at the Shinra building, at the staircase. So we'll just go ahead and use that and call it a day there. And that gives Cloud and Tifa some good levels to actually take a hit from Materia Keeper. Because man, that was a hard one with what I was using. And I just decided, you know, Cosmo Canyon's not that bad. We go into the Shinra Mansion, and Sephiroth throws the Destruct Materia at us. And I find that to be very ironic, because we will be using that later. On him, on his final fo- ON HIS FINAL FOLDER! Alright, through the windy pass, because somebody questioned me on why I said it was a windy path. That's why it was a windy path. Alright, you go down to number two. And there's the Power Soul, that is a weapon for Tifa, we will explain what that does a little bit later. And now the fight with the stupid fucking Materia Keeper. Fuck this guy. Now, you're about to see it. But, this guy does some damage. So I did a Cross Slash just for some para, which is perfect. Oh, I know it wasn't this fight. No, nah, the last fight, the Materia Keeper was doing like 4... 430, maybe 450 damage to Cloud. And that's still him back road, and I just could not... I just could not think about fighting this without taking those levels anymore, because it was a hard fight. Alright, easy enough though, but that fight, just use Bio, throw right arms. Uh, I understand that there's a 7, 7, 7, 7... Uh, thing that we could do here, like the speedrun does, but I'm not that cool. Alright, there you go. Easy fight. Oh, Tifa ate shit too. So, which was kind of unfortunate. I did not want that to happen. I actually wanted them all to live. So, uh, because Tifa was going to be the sole fighter or the the only the sole survivor in this next boss fight also we get the Yoshi Yuki uh, it doubles in power whenever you have one dead ally but it triples in power whenever you have two dead allies we also do some selling and buying of supplies More, more cutscene stuff. Then we get into this next boss fight. So I brought two characters in with low HP because I still needed them. I was gonna be just Tifa alone, but she didn't gain that level. So big guard, and then Cloud's gonna use an ether on her. Because she's gonna need to use another big guard because that big guard's not that that big guard's not gonna be enough. And then after that we just keep throwing right arms. So we're base we're set up now. The only thing that's missing here is a dead cloud. Alright, there he is. Keep Tifa healed up. Cast off another big guard. And then we just keep throwing right arms. And... We're done. That fight actually took me a little bit. Tifo is very hard to work with on this fight.
Wham! I love what Caleb Hart does on his stream when that when that part happens. It, it cracks me up every time. Alright, so, you know, now we have the tiny Bronco, and we can swim on shallow waters. Go back to the gold fucking saucer. Oh, I think I sell, and I think I just sell stuff here, before we go there. Oh, sell by. Make sure I have, uh, enough money to get in again. Alright, there's the keystone. And oddly enough, usually uh I run from this fight. But this time. Excellent. I didn't know you could do that, so. There you go. That's something new. We get the keystone, we can't leave. We do the whole date scene. Oh no, Kasid has the the keystone. Give it back. Alright, so we chase him down and he hands over the keystone. Yada yada. Alright, next place we're gonna go to is the Temple of the Ancients, and Aerith is forced to be in the party. And we're gonna bring Tifa with us, cause yet she's still sort of our lowest level character. No, nah, well, 13, 13, 13, 13, so we might as well just take her anyways. It's probably what I was thinking. And then we equip all that summon material, and like I said, I'm telling you while we're doing- I'll tell you while we do that later. And y'all are gonna be like, oh wow, that was so smart. Anyways, uh, so we go to this area first before actually going to the Temple of the Ancients because we gotta steal some Dragon Scale. And I believe we steal 35 Dragon Scales. We'll see here in a minute. I believe it was 35. Yeah, 35. So we still have right arms, and we also still have all those Molotovs too. That's our inventory. That's all the important stuff in my inventory. If y'all need to pause and look at all that, please go ahead. Y'all aren't offending me. Alright, so, Temple of the Ancient stuff. Everybody kind of knows this bit right here. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm not really going to talk about it. Uh, story lore, I'm not gonna... I'm more talking about, like, what I did, really. Alright, same thing. Big guard. Wham. Ooh, that hit was nasty. So now that we got that big guard off, we're just gonna throw some dragon scales. And everybody's gonna live on this fight. So just limit breaks and dragon scales. Limit breaks could a uh, uh, cross slash can paralyze, which it did, which it did, which was fantastic. I don't know why I used the high potion there. It was probably on memory cur. It was probably because I had everything on memory cursor. Man, just keep throwing them scales. Bloop bloop bloop. And down. Easy fight. Eric's experience does not matter too much now. But we still need to get Cloud a little bit more beefier too, because there's another fight that I was worried about. Alright, here we go. So, same thing. We use Big Guard. Tifa almost ate shit there. And... We're just gonna keep using right arms, right arms, right arms, right arms. I did not use dragon scales this time. Because dragon scales doesn't do very much to this guy. Bam, just knocking her in the head with rocks. Bunch of rocks.
Alright, Molotov, now she's dead. So, it's just gonna be Cloud and Aerith that wins this fight. One of those things yet again, uh... I hate saying it, but Cloud needs to still be a little bit beefier for a fight that is coming up. That I'm frightened about. That I've been frightened about. And I kinda, I'm kinda glad that I took the experience here too. Because the next time Cloud gains experience is going to be off the three icicles, and then the next fight after that is the fight I'm worried about, Schizo. Schizo, Schizo, I don't care. It's got two heads, the dragon, scary, and it earthquakes everything. Go through all the cutscene stuff. Nito, Kabito. We grab the death blow materia, very important. And we leave, and we get our party set up. So Tifa does have the power soul on now. We will explain that in a minute. But it also has double experience growth. And I put those damn summon materials on there. Plus the manipulate materia. Uh, Kasid has enemy skill. And Cloud doesn't have anything else right now. But to explain power soul. If, you're, if Tifa's in critical HP, her damage is doubled. And if she's in death sentence, her damage is doubled. And if she has both you get both of those multipliers. Plus, we'll be using Death Blow with it as well, which is another times two. So, she's gonna be pretty powerful later. We're not gonna actually utilize that yet, uh, but we will be using it on the carry armor fight. That's when it's gonna be super important. Alright, we are almost there. Alright. Here we go. And we are more than halfway done with the video, guys. And then we grab the water ring. Uh, gonna be using that in the next boss fight. We do all the uh, City of the Ancient stuff. We grab the Comet Materia. And we menu in. We go ahead and equip the water ring to Kasid. And we give the Comet Materia to Cloud. And more cutscene stuff. A very familiar one. Okay, so the Genova life fight. It's gonna be the same thing like I did on the last video. I'm gonna let everybody eat shit, and Kasid's gonna be the only one that lives. Because Kasid has the water ring, and this boss's only elemental attacks that it has is water. So we will absorb any damage from it. There's Aqualung. We learned that. Hi, Todd. Meow. And we just wait. Also, Kasid's health is amazing right now. Uh, 420, nice. Kind of drain it out. We just wait for it to run out. There it is. So, Genova now has no more MP. It can no longer attack. So, we're going to go ahead and Phoenix down Tifa. And we're going to get off a big guard. And she's going to just start death blowing. She's not going to be doing a lot of damage like the last one because we she's not in death sentence. See, only 358. Not that much. And then Kasi goes ahead and kills himself. And we just continue to keep death blowing. But it gets to a point to where I get tired of missing. And so I toss a right arm. And I think I only use one right arm here. I used enough death blows. To at least use one right arm to kill it. I just got tired of missing. And I believe I had a right arm to spare. Got tired of fucking missing. I just... Bleh. Take that. Alright, well, there's that. Tifa, the only one gaining experience. And this will be the end of disc one right here. Yep, there it is.
Alright, so, disc two. We, uh, continue forward, and then we stay in this area so we can find these yellow, fat-looking enemy things. Uh, we're gonna steal some dazers from them. And look at these things, look at how much damage these things do. Oof, that's awful looking right there. First try steal, though. Cloud gets that cure off, which is nice. And we run away. Easy enough. Alrighty, so here we go. So remember, on Tifa's Power Soul, we, we got those uh, materials on there gaining AP. We go to the next town, we grab the hero drink and the vaccine. And the snowboard. And I'll say, this time in my snowboard adventure, I did a little bit better this time. And I mean a little bit. <laughs> but we still managed to make it through. Uh, here it is. We're in this section. The ice, snow, force thing. We just grab the added cut material. That is all we need. And we carry four. We actually did not faint this time. We actually made it. Go four, climb some mountains. And we get to the icicle part. But first we get the fire armlet. Gonna be very important in the next in the fight after these three icicles. So I'm not gonna explain too much what happened here, but I will say either Cloud use Comet on the uh, icicle or Kasid use Demi on the icicle, and then we use two Molotovs after that, and that took care of that. Now Tifa died on the first two icicles, but Cloud died on the on the third icicle. So Cloud and Kasid gained Cloud gained. Two gained a thousand experience, Tifa gained five hundred experience, and Kasid gained fifteen hundred experience. Wow! I know, I know, I moved. I moved Todd the cat. Alright, so now we're getting into the next battle. We removed all the green material off Cloud for this fight so we can have more HP. Seriously. I cannot lie about that. This fight also took me forever. But once we got that good luck in, we cast that big guard. And we keep everybody at full health until they die at a certain point. So now we're just going to use dragon scales. I actually managed to use the dice limit break to hit one of the heads. But that's the reason why we have Comet as well. We actually switched Comet to Concede. So he does that one quake, and then once he does the second quake, I leave those two dead. They're done. Like, I, I, don't, I want nothing more with them. And then luckily, that attack happened. So we heal, or we got healed, but we cast another big guard to make sure that we stay, stay pretty good. And with that fire armlet equipped the cloud, we're just absorbing all that fire damage. And then once we get clouded to a good position again, we start using more dragon scales. The one head goes down, and this is the part that I was worried about. But look how much HP it does with Big Guard. That's why I needed to take all that green materia off, because Cloud was not sur nobody was surviving that attack. But once we get it down, we just use limit breaks or dragon scales, doesn't matter, there's only one head after that. Let it do its final attack, and boof, yet again, same thing. Thankfully, I did not have any green material on. Whew, what a fight that was. I cannot stress how hard that fight was. And I was so glad I took not only the Cosmo Canyon experience, but I also took the experience from Wall Demon. Alright, right here, if you dodge them correctly, you can avoid three fights, because there's three of these little wall thingies. So now we're putting all this materia on Kasid. we're letting them all gain AP, actually. Because Kasid now has the fire armlet, and it's gonna be like the Genova life fight. Uh, Kasid's going to go ahead and just absorb all the damage, everybody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna use dragon scales while they're alive, but inevitably they will die. Uh, no need for big guard, no need for anything, just throw dragon scales.
At least I didn't have to like physical way my my way through like the last fight because last time I had to like continuously hit it with physical attacks to to win this fight. But this time we had enough dragon scales. Casita gaining all that experience while everybody else is just just dead. Alright, more cutscene stuff. We gave Sephiroth the Black Materia. Shame on us. Meteor's been casted. Execution. Now, here's that fight again. Uh, these two guards, you would feel like it's mandatory and you would have to win this fight, but no, you, you can just run. They just disappear. Barrett and Cassid escape, Tifa escapes, and now we have access to the High Wind. And we go to Medeal, and we do a lot of important stuff here in Medeal. So we get the beat up, useless old key. We use it on the door, we, we tell the truth, and we receive the curse ring. I'll explain that later. So now we're going to sell all that material that I was gaining AP on, and here's where my brilliant idea comes to play. But I now learned and realized that Summon Materia only sells for one gil. So all the red materia that I had on there was completely useless. So that was my sinister plan, guys. But we do also buy a bunch of HP pluses, though. We did still manage to get the manipulate, or not manipulate. Yeah, no, manipulate uh, the all materia. There is the lightning materia. Oh, we're doing the the four materia stuff by the way i'm just gonna let i'm, I'm gonna explain more on on the materials that i sold real quick because this part's very very simple uh let's see um and then i forgot let's see all bolt and all bolt and manipulate that i when i sold them they sold for really good because i had some pretty good ap on them but it, it just sucked that i didn't know that the summon materia would only sell for one but that's okay we still had enough to get everything that we needed. Oh, okay, so we failed the Fort Condor thing, because we suck. Now, the next place we go to is North Coral, and we could do the train thing. And the train thing's very simple, and we have, yet again, enough dragon skills, because... Bam. Because this time we didn't waste them on the icicles and bats, like the last video. Another reason why I grabbed 35, I wanted to make sure I had quite more than enough. Alright, this part, all you gotta do is wait 10 minutes, and we avoid every single fight here. No experience to be gained. Easy enough. Alright, so now that two of those uh, huge materia missions are done, we're going to grab our Yuffie. Yuffie's going to be very important. We're grabbing her now, because usually, uh, when I, I, I did attempt to grab her on this one, like right before we got the June on, but she was like at level 19. And I was like, mm, I'm going to wait a little bit on her. So I decided to get her now, because, I mean, might as well. Alright, back to Medeal, where we do the Ultima fight. Uh, we just gotta survive it. We gave basically all these HP pluses, and, you know, gave them cure, and we can and, you know, gave them high potions. The other two characters ate shit by Quake 1, I believe, by the first attack. But, no, the first attack is Quake 2. I think they both just ate shit there, and then... Sid just had to tank it. No, no experience gained here, though. Alright. More cutscene stuff, more flashbacks. Of 
Cloud is back into the party. Which was not mentioned that he left because I was too busy mentioning the fact that I fucked up by using the summon materials to sell. Anyways, the underwater Junon. This is where Tifa comes in handy. This is where Tifa Power Soul comes in handy because we give her the Curse Ring. Uh, Curse Ring puts plus 20 on every single stat, but it gives you Death Sentence. Which is perfect because she has Power Soul. So now Critical HP and Death Sentence combined. Plus her using death blow is going is is she's gonna be a major hitter. So we go through all that. So the only person that survived through all the soldier fights was Tifa, but now we're at carry armor. Everybody's alive at this point. I love I love how much she's hitting for. That's like my favorite thing about Tifa, is just she hits so hard. Like early game. Okay, so we do that. Use Dragon Fangs, because why not? It was there. And just keep letting, letting Tifa use Death Blows. I wanted both Cloud and Yuffie to die. But it ended up becoming a bit of a struggle without Cloud. So, this was the fight where I decided, okay, both Cloud and Tifa need to survive. I'm just going to let Yuffie die. And there it is. We use an S mine. Bam. She's down. And then we just keep death blowing. Avoiding the arms. And there you go. This fight took me a little bit because I was trying to make it where Cloud died too. And he has an arm grab attack as well. And there is at least two fights where Tifa got arm grabbed after both characters were dead. And that is a game over. Alright, more of these. Let's go. Cloud's still alive, but you're just gonna death. Oh, I think I think I kill him in the next fight, actually. Oh yeah, that's right, because I want him to gain the level at least here. That's right, I remember. So both of those fights he gained experience on. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, no. Let me let me rephrase everything. So Tifa and Cloud gained uh, experience off the soldiers of the outside of the submarine, but on this fight, I killed Tifa and used dragon scales on. Uh, I used two dragon scales in this fight, so Cloud only gained the experience because this is actually going to be the last fight that Cloud gains experience on. He will stay at level twenty-three. All right, uh, take them prisoner. That avoids a fight. I don't want to use the word skip because skip and avoid to me sound different because of what we're playing. Uh, do the submarine thing. Yay, we win. Very simple. Now we have the submarine. And we can go underwater now. And we go to the Galneka ship. And just like the last playthrough we did, we will... Rece we will not receive. We will grab the conformer and the double cut materia. Yet again, conformer is a weapon for Yuffie. It is her ultimate weapon, and its power is equal to the target's level. All right, gain the key to the ancients, and now we go to Rocket Town. And this one's super fascinating that I had to do it this way. I didn't think about it like that, but I was like, you know what? I need somebody here that I haven't really used a lot of. And so Red 13 was the choice. I didn't want to use Yuffie here. I didn't want to use anybody else. But Sid also had to be in the party too because he was going to be in there anyways. So Red 13 kind of sweeps up these soldier fights up here all the way up to the root fight. And then we revive Cloud. Yeah, I know, Todd. Meow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so here comes the rude fight. Uh, we revive Cloud. And, and heal him up just a little bit. Use up some dragon scales, get a big guard off. We use the dragon scales to get rid of those first two soldiers. And then there's that big guard. So now that we've got all that succeeded, we need to kill Cloud. And then also use the dazers. 
on uh, Rude so we can get Death Blows. Death Blows will hit. Alright, there you go, Cloud dies, and then now it's all up to Red 13, so we use some Dragon Scales. Death Blow. We basically gave Red 13 the Tifa setup, and there's going to be a lot of characters with the Tifa setup too. And then on this fight, Red 13 did it alone, and we just hit him with whatever. Like, I didn't really care. I even got him with a limit break, why not? And that ends that section right there. Rocket goes. And the rocket fails. Oh, after the rocket goes off, you can talk to that guy again and get the Venus Gospel. And also here I get the Death Glow material as well. And then we go back to Cosmo Canyon, do all that, to go back to the City of the Ancients, to do that. So Sid's still, uh, Sid's still in our party, because we need him to gain, we need him to take down this diamond weapon, which is taking a awful lot to get here. So Sid has the Tifa set up. He has Curse Ring, Death Blow, Added Cut. Uh, Yuffie is there because she has the Conformer. Very useful weapon. So same thing, Big Guard. And from here we're going to use some summons in, uh, instead of uh, using Limit Breaks to begin with because we don't have a Limit Break build up yet. But we will. So that's why we're using summons first. So in order for Diamond Weapon to do Countdown, you need to do two Limit Breaks and or Summons. So I use the two Summons here. I use Bahamut here. A lot of damage. And then I use Neo Bahamut here. More damage. And then it's going to open up for Countdown, and that's when we can do our Death Blows. And Yuffie's going to use Double Cut instead all right so sid's taken in the town so sid has a lot of hp but the reason why he has a lot of hp is because first off all the hp pluses secondly he was the one that was supposed to win this fight now i did have some unfortunate events that happened but i'm kind of glad that what happened did happen because i reached my my threshold that i wanted to reach all right so here we go He's almost ready for... Yep, there it is. So we death load and double cut all we could. Alright, and then... But before that attack went off, we started using healing items. So we got Sid going in on stuff, getting him fully healed, because he, we used an elixir because he had a lot of HP. 666 off that limit break, and then Grease Lightning. Bam. But yet again, I used two limit breaks and it didn't open up for countdowns, but Sid got his limit break going and then boom, we got countdown coming up again. Now this is where it got fascinating. Because we have no uh, big guard up now. Cloud bites it. Yuffie's using the conformer with double cut. A miss, but still doing good damage. Do good damage. There we go. With the Venus Gospel and all that. But as you can see, death sentence happened. So I pressed my luck. I said, screw it. Let's just keep double cutting. And there you go. Yuffie instead wins the fight, and she gains all that experience. Holy moly. But yeah, even Sid, Venus Gospel, Curse String, uh, just didn't make it. But here we go. Let's look at this huge level up here.
No more, no less. She's at level 30. That is my highest level throughout the entire playthrough right there. But, the thing was is that Yuffie was supposed to fight Hojo. And Sid was supposed to fight Diamond Weapon, so I had to switch them. Oh yeah, we also do Midgar skip too. Here we go. So we skip all those and we just go straight to the Hojo fight. And, uh, since I had to hear it, everybody else has to hear it. So this noise that you're hearing is what happens when you do Midgar skip. So, enjoy. Anyways, so since Sid now has to do this fight, he still has the Tifa set up. He's got Death Blow with Added Cut, uh, Cursed Ring, and uh, his weapon is the Venus Gospel. We get the big guard off, and we just continuous, continuously Death Blow Hojo. Cloud's surviving this fight for a little bit, till the last phase. Once the last phase happens, uh, we start letting him eat shit. Yet again, more death blows, bam. Death blow with added cut, bam, bam. Doing some good damage there. This fight still took me a little bit, because Sid was missing so many death blows. We, we kind of skipped getting the Mysteel that's on the way up to this fight. Like, after fighting the uh, Gundam, the Proud Cloud, or whatever the fuck its name is. Alright, so third phase, same thing. Just death blow, added cut. But we also use a vaccine here. Uh, the reason why we use vaccine is because that. So, Sid survives, and he still has all that stat boost from the uh, curse ring. So, bam, 4,000. Bam, 2,000. So, that's 6,000 a turn if it doesn't fucking miss death blow. Here we go. Cloud is finally dead. Excellent. Bam. Also, we use the vaccine because of all the uh, statuses that uh, this Hojo can inflict. And there you go. Done. And this is the last fight we gain experience off of all together. On the Genova Synthesis fight, I screwed up on the last video. I majorly screwed up. So... I'm redeeming myself here with the Genova Synthesis fight that's coming up. But this right here is the last experience gain that we got. And those two characters, the two top dead characters that you see right there, is our average right there. It's between 30 and 23. Now it's all up to, can we beat the game? The end of disc 2, we're done. Now we're doing the final descent. Not much to note here besides gaining the vaccine and making Tifa go right when the gang splits up to get the mithril, which is actually the mysteel. So now we're in. So now we're going to go to do the final three, blah, 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 the final three boss battles in the game. So here's Genova Synthesis. Uh, Yuffie has Conformer, Mysteel, Curstring. So we're gonna get off a big guard. And then there you go, we're gonna make T uh, uh, Yuffie death blow, we're gonna make Sid death blow. End of discussion. Bam! Look at that damage she's doing. That is lovely. Alright, so... Like I said, we're just gonna keep hitting her. Not a big deal. The Mysteel, uh, your evasion goes up a lot, and death blows, you... You, you just don't miss them anymore. So once this countdown happens, we're, we just wait. And then here comes that magic evasion that I was... There comes that evasion I was like, That also counts for magic evasion, too. So, bloop, misses, cloud dies, and victory. And... No experience game. Bam. Over. Done. So now let's go into the second to last boss battle and our team's gonna be cloud tifa yuffie and in this fight tifa is actually more of a a merchant than a monk yuffie is gonna be our star child here cloud of course big guard we have tifa and cloud with a little bit higher like tifa has the highest hp because i wanted the 
last boss fight's physical attack, which is going to target the character with the highest HP to hit her, but that kind of fell apart. Alright, so this fight, miss on Cloud, that's good. So we use a hero drink here to on Yuffie, and then we use Big Guard. And after that, it's just death blow and make sure everybody's healed up. And that's it. 8,800 damage. Oof. At level 30. At level 30. Alright, that was good. So, like I said, keep everybody healed up and continue to death blow. There's death blow, added cut. Just do so much damage, and Miss Steel doing its work yet again. It did get a stigma off, but I believe it missed Yuffie. Let me see. Yep, it missed Yuffie. Hit the other two, and that barely made Tifa high enough. Cause look at that HP. So, Safer's still gonna hit Tifa with the physical attack. But I had a backup plan for that. Which is what the vaccine is for. But that fight was easy. And I will leave everybody to watch the final fight. Y'all enjoy.
And that's it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate everybody for sitting in again. Um, if there's parts that weren't explained very well, please say something in the comments. I'll be very happy to answer. Yet again, I am saying that, just in case. Uh, please like this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, share this. Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Share this with your fucking cat if you have one. I don't care. Just spread the word that I like making content and I like doing this stuff and I'm very much enjoying it. And I very much enjoy the fact that everybody's watching it. And the last skip of the run we're gonna do is Omni Slash Skip. Thank you, everybody.